I'm Bill Monroe. On Monday, the Avapai County Board of Supervisors approved acquisition of a helicopter donated by Guidance Helicopters. The helicopter is valued at $180,000, making this the single largest donation ever given to the Sheriff's Office. A complete overhaul of the helicopter will cost $250,000 and should take three to four months to complete. The Dewey Humboldt Town Council started public hearings on community development block grants Tuesday night. The town's focus is roads in low to moderate income areas. Isabel Rollins from the Northern Arizona Council of Governments discussed available funds and different projects. Also on Tuesday night, the Presque Unified School District Board approved an access agreement for ingress and egress for property adjacent to the Dexter Family Resource Center. The Humboldt Unified School District Board also met that night to discuss its annual self-evaluation. The Presque Valley Town Council expressed interest in bringing back Youth and Government Day. The town had this program in place years ago that allowed high school students to shadow council and staff members and participate in council meetings. The Presque Valley Rotary Club made a presentation on this item during Thursday's council meeting. The Prescott City Council did not hold a meeting this week, but Council's Water Issues Committee met Wednesday afternoon to discuss operation of Watson and Willow Lakes for surface water recharge. That night, Council's Contract Review Committee continued discussions from October 11th on the boilerplate contract format. The Arizona School Boards Association held a workshop in Cottonwood Wednesday night. Agenda items included an overview of the roles and responsibilities of board members, election of county directors, and discussion on what districts are doing to provide services with fewer resources. The City of Prescott Public Works Department hosted a second public meeting on water and sewer rates Thursday night. It has been explained the ages and deterioration of the city's utility systems directly translate to capital, operations, and maintenance costs. An Arizona gubernatorial candidate and Attorney General Terry Goddard and his wife Monica visited Prescott Thursday. The two spoke to seniors at Las Fuentes Resort Village and the Prescott Adult Center before participating in a rally that had attendance from about 75 people at the Courthouse Plaza. Also in attendance were District 1 Congressional Candidate Lindsey Bell, Corporation Commission Candidate David Bradley, and Mine Inspector Candidate Manuel Cruz. I'm Bill Monroe and that's your KQ&A News Week in Review.